Hello everyone. So for this assignment, we are meant to talk about stage fright and what exactly it means to us, how can we relate to it, our, our experiences with it. Um, personally, I am someone who doesn't really like to talk in public, uh, not to big crowds, but I wouldn't necessarily say that I am not a social person. Um, Actually, I like to think that I'm pretty social, um, but when it comes to talking in public, um, either as a school assignment or work-related presentations, I tend to get pretty nervous. Uh, the main reactions that my body experiences are um, sweaty palms, uh, heart racing pretty fast, um, tend to forget what I'm about to say, or sometimes even just start talking about something else completely different um, until I notice that I'm completely off the topic. Um, so salivating a lot, which also doesn't help when you're talking uh, to other people. Um, so according to the video, stage fright, um, it's a normal reaction uh, to our own fear of people thinking that we're awful or that we're doing a terrible job at something. Um, so it's just our subconscious trying to tell us that we are in a uncomfortable situation. Uh, some people tend to experience way worse than I do. I'm pretty sure that uh, more than one in this class is going to be experiencing more than I do. But personally, I think that being able to control that is going to be extremely helpful in the future. Um, so why is it difficult to get rid of uh, stage fright? Um, I think that we all or we are all wired differently. Um, some people have had more practice than others, um, and that tends to make it way easier. Um, like in the in the videos mentioned, um, even big celebrities, like in this case John Lennon, have present uh, had done presentations his whole life, and he would still have uh, a stage fright reaction throwing up before each presentation. Um, but to be honest, I think that having that adrenaline rush is perfect to still be alert. Um, like I said, I think it's just a matter of knowing how to control those extra effects. Um, and knowing how, how to tame your own body and your own mind. Um, most of the time, most of the times our, our, own, our own brains are the ones telling us that things are worse than they actually are. Like it's mentioned in the text. Um, a lot of times people don't even notice that you're nervous or yeah, or just in general, like people will know that you're gonna be nervous, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be as noticeable as you might think. Um, for me, I think that the best ways to calm my nerves are by practicing as much as I can. Um, for this video in particular, I try to make it to make it as um, as natural as possible without rehearsing, um, just to prove myself that I'm good at doing it and that I can do it without feeling that pressure. Um, also, I think that learning how to learning how to breathe um, and knowing when to take a pause prior, during, and after. Um, it's a good, uh, a good way of just dealing with this. Um, 
ultimately, I think that um, whatever you do to calm yourself in other situations, um, some people, they might like to pray, some people, they might just like to um, focus on different stuff. Um, I think that as long as you don't take yourself too serious in these situations um, and knowing that you could fail um, might take some of the stress off um, just because you already know what to expect but at the end of the day it's just a matter of just going for it and having fun so um, thank you very much for listening